Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we are gonna be playing Machine Gun Psycho, which hmm, is very solid in this meta because it counters Viking Bridge Spam. I'm gonna just start on this note and uh, then I'm gonna follow up uh, the thought because I kinda really like uh, today ruining the mood of other people because that's kinda what Machine Gun does to people. It just stands there menacingly, being protected by chip cards and like you already see it just connects to the tower and there's nothing you can do except like pray that it won't happen to you. Actually one bone blaster connects to my machine gun so it won't be a whole tower down but it's good enough. <laughs> it's already good enough and I'm gonna absolutely take the trade that I'm being given. I'm gonna split right now. My archers, which are bow wenches, also I'm playing today on pirate language, so that's gonna be a fun gimmick of, on this video. For instance, machine gun is called straight up big gun, which which technically it is. It's a big gun that costs six mana. I'm gonna absolutely predict that digger. Very cool to see, and that tower is going down. So. Like, like you already see, I'm just in the mood of ruining people's lives because I'm just going machine gun first play at the bridge with no regards to any consequence and I'm getting away with it because that's how machine gun is being played nowadays. So, this deck is very good against viking bridge spam because of the fact that uh, first of all it can defend all the spam that they will throw at you, which is already a big plus. Oh. However, that wasn't a big spam and I didn't defend that properly. Yet I have to remember that Dark Knight can be tricky sometimes. And second of all, uh, the machine gun itself is very uncomfy for them to defend because, well, <clears throat> as long as you can uh, put some troops behind it, it's gonna be very inconvenient for them to defend. I'm gonna actually take this bomb blaster. Very cool micro interaction here. He's gonna be playing. A phone cake. I don't know how did he. How, okay, he didn't outcycle my rolling steel. I just played rolling steel myself on the scale method. Yeah. Now I remember what was the gimmick of this player, and now that we have that out of the way, we can just start uh, punching at his tower. So, yeah. It's gonna be a two tower game at the very least, and if he gives up right now, we can even make. The, okay, yeah. He, he sends good game, which is Plunder Jolly. Uh, in pirate, we're gonna get a three star, very cool, right here, and we're gonna get a three star with machine gun in the game number one. Obviously, three stars won't be as common with this deck as, for instance, with Viking Bridge spam or I don't know, Brute or Flying Robot. Those are like the decks that like to kind of attack and attack and are comfortable with base trading. With machine gun, you usually don't want to base trade because your defense kind of relies on your buff towers to be alive. So yeah, uh, very rare three star right here, but it was after rage quit, so it was very understandable. And we're in the game number two against Neil O, who has 12 medals and will certainly look uh, into this game with a some nasty intent to surprise us, or at least I will hope so. So. Another very important thing of this deck is that you can just uh, cycle Phone Hut with it's not a problematic play. I don't recommend doing that, but at the same time, with this aggressive of a meta, you kinda want to be one luring your opponent into you so you can just defend uh, cheaply and then counter attack. This is one of the ways how to uh, play in this aggressive meta. I'm gonna try to avoid this dash, and I just barely managed not to. But my machine gun will still connect and it still will be a nuisance for my opponent to deal with. In fact, my opponent will be so pissed about this machine gun lock that he won't be dealing with that at all. So that's gonna be a tower down and a game down. So I'm gonna see you guys in a game number 3 of today's video. And here we are back against Grossplat who, uh, like I've said many times before, I didn't see that player yet on ladder. So. I guess first time for everything, he has 400 mil, so pr relatively a newcomer, he had a chance to beat some uh, stronger players, you never know what he has gone through to reach this point, and right now I'm gonna just play a solid boom arena game, I'm gonna play a flying bomb against this copter, just establishing that I have a flying bomb and definitely 
he shouldn't be very uh, confident with playing copters. Right now he's playing T-Rex and I think it's a good moment to go for a machine gun because at the very least I'm gonna scout his uh, uh, scout his gimmick card and looks like his gimmick card will be Dark Knight. So, okay. This T-Rex absolutely didn't get kited into my phone. That was the plan behind this play. It didn't work out. Sometimes it, it just happens. Your plans don't work out. You have to kind of learn how to live with that because your opponent at, at some point in the game your opponents will always have plans how to deal with the game and if you don't have a counter plan or at, la at least some kind of coping mechanism which kind of helps you to go straight back to your best mental you will be just having a huge problem with uh, with dealing with losses so i'm gonna be just cycling archers in the back he's gonna be playing drunker very very calm, like quiet play, I have no problems with that. I'm gonna play Thief's Guild, which is a phone hut, to counter this T-Rex, there's absolutely no problem with that play. Also, he's gonna be playing a helicopter, so I'm gonna just cycle Ice Tiny here, then deal with helicopter, and then probably set up another machine gun. So, I've played a swordsman, and I think I'm gonna use this swordsman to play a machine gun with it. He may be playing a Dark Knight with it, and I think that would be the most logical continuation for him. And there's the Dark Knight, so we're gonna be indeed saving a Mega Unit play right here. I'm gonna right now try to defend, and now that we have settled our defense, we're gonna set up another machine gun. Also, one thing to, uh, worth noticing is that actually Fonhat is very strong defensively, so... Uh, don't be scared sometimes to leave the entire defense to the phone hut, it may do magic like in this case. I'm gonna play flying bomb just to kill all these air troops and I think the game has been officially sealed because there's nothing he can do about it. He can play Dark Knight, he can save some HP on his tower, but it won't change the fact that I have absolutely humongous damage advantage and I'm gonna just extended by playing another machine gun. Also, these two hits were unnecessary. I could have avoided them, but at the same time, mistakes were made. That was a cheeky flying bomb that I wanted to squeeze in here to get a machine gun lock, but it appears that he kinda knows these tricks, so I'm not gonna be able to catch him today. He's playing Cyclone, which is very wild to play. Right here, I'm gonna just play Swordsman try to get a sneaky log. It, it it doesn't happen, but at least we have tried. We're gonna be playing a phone hut here. Like I said, one of the best defensive uh, resources that you can have in the game right now. I'm gonna play flying bomb just to kill this. I'm gonna play some skeletons, and I think the game has been sealed. Okay, he's gonna still keep on playing, which is well, honestly very impressive because I would have quit uh, a long time ago. So we're gonna just leave a good game because he played very well, but in the end it was the machine gun that persevered and we take the 4 medals from him. Very cool to see, let's jump to the game number 4. And we're up against Neil O, who I believe we even face in this video. He throws the nice play which is kinda nice, always love to see when the players are sharing some good manners. I'm gonna actually play Rolling Steel against this, no, nothing wrong about it. I can guess that he's, yep, he's playing Steel Bait, but if you can deal with the phone keg that is coming after you have used a Rolling Steel, it's usually not that bad of idea to just take the value. He's gonna be playing very provocative way. Right now I'm gonna try to sneak, a, okay, I, I wanted to try sneak a flying bomb into this, but uh, I didn't manage to do so. I'm gonna have to defend another phone keg with my with my troops, and actually I have a perfect system to do so. Just play like this, and no hits in sight. Very cool defense that you can try to copy into your uh, own games. You play uh, archers uh, beneath your tower and uh, ice tiny one tile above your uh, tower the phone still will still will uh, hit the ice tiny and at the same time uh, your opponent won't get splash from a uh, bomb girl if he uh, chooses to go for that so i'm gonna play swordsman here absolutely astounding 
prediction. I'm gonna play archers. J just because why not? I'm gonna just pressure the bridge. He's coming with a very tight defense. I probably should have used a rolling steel. But yeah, at this point it won't matter because, well... Okay, he even gets one more hit, which is pretty annoying, but at the same time I don't really care. I'm gonna play rolling steel. And it did was a deeper barrel, so very cautious of me to just keep this barrel in check. I'm gonna right now just... Honestly, I don't know what's my plan. For now, I'm gonna just defend this phone court. I was scared that he would go for a missile cycle, which uh, certainly was possible. I'm not sure if he recognizes the cycle that I have, but uh, he certainly could uh, go for that. I'm gonna go for Ice Tiny. Just block... Okay, so he indeed has missile and... That's gonna make matters very difficult for me, because if he really has a missile, it means that I'm not gonna be able to comfortably cycle machine guns back to back, and yeah. As you probably could have guessed, that's uh, not a very comfortable situation for me, so yeah. Also another nuisance will be Bomb Girls, and right now I will try to uh, defend my... Actually, I'm gonna just de defend the uh, phone cake with a... Mm, flying bomb unless I miss so that's gonna be a very b bad spot for me to be in but at the same time we're gonna just play uh, for our normal stuff and hope that it will work out okay so he he's just keeping the uh, missile for our machine gun which is obviously a very good play I'm gonna try to play ice tiny here and right now I, I kind of have to take a risk in order to come back to this game I'm gonna play obviously if Rolling still here, he plays a... He plays really well, honestly. This matchup from here played very well. I honestly have to, like I've said before, take some risk in order to win this one. I'm gonna play another machine gun, hope to get some luck. He probably will just play a missile on my machine gun, which is absolutely correct call. And yeah, I should have just started playing a flying bomb cycle way earlier because right now there's nothing I can do and this one will be an L and he's gonna even get a very nice prediction here which I pretty much cannot deal with and yeah that, that's gonna be unfortunately an L I would say this matchup is very 50-50 like but he played it absolutely perfectly so yeah that's gonna be 16 medals for him and absolutely deserved because I didn't play it to my absolute limits so yeah that, that's gonna be his win I kind of was wishy washing for a cheap uh, machine gun lock that he will mess up his defense but he was always on point and that's pretty much all that matters in this matchup you don't want to be one attacking you want to be the one that defends the uh, aggression of your opponent and yeah it, it just didn't work out let me say that much 16 mil for him it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna get them back anyway. Let's jump to the game number 5 of today's video. And our fifth game of the video will be against Zombie who has zero medals, which is pretty accurate to his nickname. Also, I'm not gonna be able to play Flying Bomb on both Tower and, and his Machine Gun. I don't know if that was... Uh, uh, if that was on purpose or if that was by mistake by him, but either way it worked out. I had to play more a creative defense right here. Usually I would just play a flying bomb, get a value and just don't... Don't really uh, uh, overthink it. Right now I had to uh, overthink my defense a bit and right now my machine gun connects, so... Very cool thing to see, obviously I'm gonna get a very fat lock here, he should have played a spell in order to prevent that, because, well, I was about to say if he doesn't, but you obviously can see what happens if he doesn't, and right now I'm gonna just ignore this a little lock, it's like 200 damage, not a big of a deal, especially that I've taken a thousand damage out of his tower in a defense right beforehand, so I'm absolutely fine with that. I'm gonna be just playing machine guns right now, messing with his bad cycle because he certainly has some kind of bad cycle and yeah, I'm gonna just play a rolling steel, try to get as much value out of my machine gun as it's possible and I'm gonna get a lock on the tower which is very cool, very cool to see another thousand damage landing on his tower right here, 
My guess is that he's gonna try to counterplay with machine gun uh, on his own, but mm, we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out because so far I'm pretty confident in my abilities of dealing with my opponent's threats. I'm gonna play swordsman here. I don't know if that was the best idea because um, my opponent has a cannon on this side, so I'm gonna just play uh, skeletons extra. I'm gonna try to uh, distract machine gun for as long as possible. It gets two hits. Very unfortunate, but what can I do? I'm gonna play swordsman here. He's gonna go with a machine gun into my machine gun, which is definitely not a play. I'm gonna absolutely hard counter his machine gun, and after that we're gonna get another log because he's just uh, absolutely dry on mana, and that's gonna be actually a final lock of the game. I, I could have gone. Okay, I absolutely got frozen by this ice tiny, but I think, yeah, this machine gun will still get the job done. We're gonna just play another machine gun on the opposite side, and my opponent decides is the good uh, moment to call the game and leave and there that's where I'm gonna call my video as well so yeah if you watch till the end and you're hearing me still talking right now thanks for watching definitely uh, I appreciate that because I want to create a content for people who want to kinda learn from my gameplay and you cannot learn only by watching one game so Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this Boom Arena content, definitely make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already. I'm having a lot of new uh, viewers into my videos, so if you're not uh, subscribed, definitely consider doing so because I'm posting Boom Arena content on a daily basis and a uh, short variations. Currently, I'm doing the series about every card in Boom Arena, like short uh, description about what it is and... Uh, where I wa where I like to uh, play it. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.